this intro screen is quite uh, silent. <laughs> Usually, I feel like they they, they have like little kind of I don't know like idle music playing right now <laughs> in the, the game, but nope, just dead silence. Hello everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in! My name is Kaz and welcome back to Cosplays! We are continuing our journey through Yakuza 3, which is by far probably going to be a uh, kind of a sporadic playthrough. Um, I know I won't be doing this a whole lot, especially when Spider-Man 2 comes out, but until then, let's continue the story. So if we found out, it seems uh, Kazum Captain Kazuma is uh, not dead yet. Daigo has been shot. Well, I guess that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> wow. Ojisan, go on, Mada. You must sink in under. Hannah's cooking. Hora, damn it, I shot at you. Tie your name, Jack. Oh, Hans, good to take your Jamasha, damn it, take Tanoni. So I'm not gonna lie, this next section is pretty much just trying to find out, like, you, you kind of just find out a, a lot about the kids that he's, uh, that, that, that he's uh, taken care of. まったね。あれ泉は知らない。知らない。どこ行っちゃったんだろう。いいじゃん。先に食べちゃおうよ。そうだよ。別に大丈夫だって。おじさん、どうする？よし、探してこよう。お前たちは食べてていいぞ。はい。いただきます。One of the little children is missing. <laughs> Hard to say for sure. I'll go take a look around outside. You checked in the house, Haruka. Mm. Alright. Alright, so this is the orphanage that uh, Kiryu now runs by himself, um, in incredibly. <laughs> I think that he'd have at least some help. But, so, this is the uh, children's room, and most likely, and this is uh, your room. I don't know what it says up there, because I am... Unfortunately, not good at. <laughs> I cannot read Japanese. Oh, one of my favorite things about this, though, is that if you go straight from inside the house, you'll see, you'll notice that he takes off his shoes and he has socks on. But then, as soon as he steps out, shoes magically appear on the feet. Anyways, I think she's. Oh yeah, there she is. At least I hope this is her. There's literally only one kid around here. <laughs> I hope this is her. You're usually the first one at the dinner table. I don't want to eat right now. What? Are you feeling okay? Oh my god, something's wrong! Oh, what's going on?! <laughs> Something happened at school. Come on, Izumi. You can tell me. Hey, Uncle Kaz? What's up? <laughs> Is not having parents a bad thing? Other kids at school are making fun of me- Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> Oh, that even got brought up. Well, bring your parents to school day is pretty soon, so everyone was started asking what I was gonna do. Oh, huh. <laughs> they said my parents can't come because they're dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> what the hell's wrong with kids? <laughs> it's 
not like I want you to pretend to be my dad or anything, but... But what, Izumi? You can tell me. It's really hard. Like, some of the other parents can't come because they're too busy, but nobody makes fun of those kids. Why not? Why can't I just have a real family like everyone else? You do have a family, Izumi. Huh? huh? Me, Haruka, and everyone else. I don't get it. Listen, families come in all shapes and sizes. Having a real mom and dad isn't what matters here. But... What matters is that you're surrounded by people who love you and for who you are. But we're not related. Well, there's more to it than that. Related or not, you mean the world to all of us. And that alone is enough to make us family. And besides, I don't think your classmates are really making fun of you. Huh? They spent their whole lives with their moms and dads right by their side. They can't imagine it any other way. I'm sure they just don't realize how lonely life as an orphan can be. Then they don't think I'm weird? That's right. If anything, I'd say they were genuinely concerned ab about you feeling lonely. I was an orphan too. I know just how hard it can be. Even so, I'll always think of the man who brought me up as my real dad. And the other kids from my orphanage, they're my siblings. You know... That was something that, that again, I, I, I know I mentioned this in other Yakuza playthroughs, but I was always curious to know, why was it that Kazuma had to kill uh, Kiryu's parents? Because he, he confesses that at the end of the first, like, you know, right before he dies in the first game. So, what exactly were they? Like, were they connected to the mob somehow, and they just needed to be taken out or something? I just find it very interesting that, that they had to die. And uh, because that's where, because he says that's where he sends all the kids who, whose parents are, um, whose parents he ha he's had to murder, so it's tough. We're a family, huh? Hey, there's a box on the beach. Aww. <laughs> ああ。俺はお前のお父さんにはなれない。でもお前がこの朝顔に来たときから家族だと思っている。おじさん。ああ。泉ちゃん、みんなが待ってるよ。I guess Haruka is probably like my assistant again in some way. Oh, they waited. Omaira. Izumi ga inai no ni taberare nai kara na. Mou onaka beko beko da yo. Ii kara hayaku suware. Kotsu oide. Izumi chan hayaku hayaku. I do love how Japanese has a lot of like affirmative grunts. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and some really good curry in Japan. Oh, 
チノキって書いてあるけど私たち出て行かないといけないのかな<笑>最近知らない男の人たちもよく来ているみたいだし朝顔のみんなも怖がってるんだよあちょっと様子を見てくれ。Don't know if you guys remember from the first part, it's been a while since I played the game, but <laughs> that dude in the, with the black hair, that guy was in the, beacon, was in the opening. I guess that's how Kiryu got most of his friends, is that it was like somebody who wanted to mess with him, and then he, he just ends up, and then ends up having, they end up becoming allies for whatever reason. <laughs> Not if I can help it. I'm not about to let those guys kick us out of our home. It must be the Ryodo, blah, Ryodo family boys. Those are the ones who've been sending us those letters. One way or another, it's gonna have to stop. I can't have them keep scaring you guys. Maybe I should pay this Ryodo family a vi little visit. Don't worry, Haruka. I'm not planning on getting into any fights. Unless they pick fights with me. I mean, you've been around, you, you, you've seen when you walk around with me in the city, they just randomly start fighting me. <laughs> okay. So, there are some new mini-games, of course, as there, as there always are in, uh, in the Yakuza games. So, right here, there's always going to be a worm that you can take. And because there is a... Very aggravating fishing minigame in this. And it is. It is, uh. Quite noted, noted that, it, that it is quite, uh. That it is, uh, quite aggravating to play because of how, um. Precise it is. <laughs> it's not that. It's, it's, it's kind of like. It's one of those, like. The concept should be easy, but it just seems a lot harder than it should be. And one thing I like doing is I just like to scan the beach side, because sometimes you'll find boxes with random items in it. God, yeah, this is a beautiful place. You know, yeah, Okinawa was one of the uh, places in Japan that I did not get a chance to visit, but if I ever do... I, but if I ever do get that chance, I, I definitely will go back, because I would like to see what this place is like. Seems, though, that there's a lot of wonderful fresh produce <laughs> what was this place called Crap, yeah, I, I, I forgot to look up what the, uh, area, what, what, what this, uh, fictional town is called. Alright. Because these are based off of, uh, as, as it is also with the original, with the original Yakuza games, they're all based on actual, they're, they're not, they're, they're all based on actual, play, like, real life locations, they're just called something else. Like Sotenbori, I, I I will always remember as the Dotonburi uh, district because that's apparently that big uh, that big giant crab that you see on that sign is actually a tourist draw. Oh hey, there's that. Oh no wait. Oh this is a, this is another rando. Well, some rando wants to fight me. I guess the only thing I can do is fight. <laughs> Now, Yakuza 3 combat system, a lot of people also find uh, uh, quite uh, quite different because he, in, in this game, the heat attacks, funny enough, don't really do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, I did... Yeah, they, they did take out the... Uh, and they do take out, like, normal grunts, but, like, against bosses? Oh, God, it is... Possible to, to fight against them with the heat attacks. I 
always wondered if Smile Burger was a stand-in for McDonald's. Or maybe that's a real place, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, real-life things here that I didn't expect to see. I get all excited about it in Japan, and they're like, this is really common. <laughs> I didn't know Pronto Cafe was an actual place! Yo, Chimpira. あ、ファッキロ。なんだ、とにかく子供たちが怖がってるんだ。もう二度と顔見せるんじゃねえ。俺らはな。内地から写真撮って。さあな。どうしても知りてえなら。直接親父に聞くんだな。ボーイ行きだ。流動一家の事務所。お前らの親父とやらに会いに行く。あ、兄貴、今すぐ組に連絡を。あ。わざわざ組に連絡入れるようなことするんじゃねえ。俺らの仕事はあんたの監視だ。
because I'm I'm so used to him like after he does that move that uh, like he like Kiryu can do like another like another another like like smash move after that and it just it, it just adds it just it's able to it, what I like about it is that it's able to break through guards a lot easier. But also I think because Kiryu is not that. See, look how tiny that, like, the damage is. It also doesn't help that, yeah, Kiryu is definitely not uh, as strong as he could be. I think I need to grind a little bit more off-screen. Uh, oh my god, why is this going so slowly? Oh my god, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I just find it funny though, but they give you that option to do like that finishing move, but for a lot of the bosses, they do it like way before they can e like way before even like the strongest one will take them down. So it's like, what's the point of doing it right there? I just kicked your ass. <laughs> お前の親父のところに案内してもらおうか。はい。わかりました。It's a good thing nobody called the cops. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to ask you about that tattoo you have. What about it? You said the viper is a symbol of Okinawa, right? Then why did you leave its eye bu its eyes blank? Oh, well, m my tattoo guy ended up passing away before he could get all the finishing touches in. So I just decided to leave it that way. Can't you get someone else to finish the job? I mean, I thought about it and all, but I, I don't know if I'd rather... If if some random other artist could do his work justice. Wouldn't really feel right, you know? I guess. And with how important the Viper is, I gotta have someone who's re in real in tune with the soul of Okinawa. I haven't found anything, anyone like that since my old guy died, though. Knowing Okinawa has nothing to do with it. The best tattoo artists know how to, how to best reflect a man's soul, no matter the theme. A master artist should be able to do your Viper justice. Well, then I hope I can find one someday. The world's a big place. I'm sure you'll cross someone sooner or later. Yeah, you might be right. Anyway, we should get moving. The boss will be waiting for us. Ugh, oh, god, this game suffers from that problem of my run speed is faster than his run speed, but my walk speed is slower. Why do games do that? I know it's just so that way we don't get lost, especially if we're following somebody, but it's just, uh, it gets so irritating having to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Oh, oh Rikia, where are you headed? You look like you're busting a, da a dang gut over there. Just taking him to see the boss. That guy? Wow, he's built. Makes you look like a little kid in those tiny arms of yours, Rikia. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Don't be like that. It was just a little joke. Hey, pal, you're not from around here, huh? Nope, but I've been on the island for almost a year now. <laughs> oh, a convert! How are you liking Okinawa, friend? Probably never want to step foot on the mainland again, huh? <laughs> Listen, we're, we're kind of in a hurry here, so... All right, all right. Run along. Oh, and ask the boss if he wants to grab a drink tonight, will ya? Yeah. Sure. See you later. Sorry about that. It's this way. Yeah, it's taking me all throughout this uh, little shopping complex here. There's like only like a couple stores though you can actually go into and actually buy anything. 
sitting on his tush. <laughs> that seems like an old. That seems like an old term right there. You and Miki Chan spend more time lounging and getting fat than doing actual work. <laughs> Come on, not in front of the guest. Oh, and what a guest he is! Oh, if only I were twenty years younger and a couple inches taller. Mm -mm. Is that the, is that shit all you old ladies think about? Seriously, you're embarrassing me here. Anyway, we really gotta get going. <laughs> One sec, Riki Chan. I got some nice bitter melon, and so I'll wrap whip up a big old batch of Goya Champlu for you boys. Maybe I can bring it around the office later. I can't hang with the bitter shit. You know that. Anyway, no time to be standing around. We gotta go. Try bringing that can-do attitude to work. <laughs> to your work, too. You and Miki-chan can't keep goofing off all day. Sorry, she's kind of nosy. This way. Seems like the locals are on pretty good terms with Ryodo. Oh. Ryodo. Oh. I, I keep saying Ryodo. <laughs> But you're good. we're about to find out that the Ryudo family is kind of small. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I almost want to say, it's like, can this even really be called a Yakuza family? <laughs> like, there's... What should I this? We don't have a hundred guys here just to keep bowing, so we have to do it ourselves. あんただ桐生さんか。うちの力也が変わったもらってようだな。あんたに話があってきた。ああ、立ち退きの件だろ。そうだ。どうして俺らが立ち退かなきゃならないのか、わけが知りたい。うん。さき。おい、さき。ちょっとこのおじちゃんと話があるんだ。部屋に戻っててもらえるかな。Who's the girl? My daughter, name's Saki. You have a daughter? Not by blood. I took her in. Oh, maybe three years ago now? Huh. Now, about those eviction notices. I'm listening. I'm really sorry to be doing this to you, but I don't have a ton of choice in the matter. And why's that? Well, the family's owned the land you're sitting on for decades now. We built the houses over there ourselves and have been subletting them since. But now potential buyers come knocking and we're not planning on turning them down. Someone wants the land? Yep, sounds like it's gonna be the site of some fancy schmancy new resort. Hmm. What, you hadn't heard? This is my first time, yeah. Well, the word is they're going to plop a big resort on the land your little neighborhoods your your little neighborhoods on. Either that or use it for a brand new American military base. It's been all over the news. So that's why you're trying to evict us. Yep. I gotta admit, my feelings are kind of mixed on the whole shebang, being Okinawa born and raised and all. How? But who am I supposed to stand in the way of progress? So, what do you say? Think of it as a favor. Me and the rest of Ryo of Ryudo family will really owe you one. Look, Rikia told me about the orphanage. Trust me, I know from Saki how hard raising kids that age can be. 
But you mainlanders are practically made of money, right? Can you just take your kids somewhere else? And if you really need a little extra cash, we might be able to spot you something. Well, not a bad deal, huh? Nah. This is the only place where they probably would allow us to set up an orphanage. Huh? What that's funny, the thing that they translated that to is watch your tongue when he really just says what? <laughs> That's funny. ここで施設をやっている内地から来た<笑> オキナワのことを愛しているなら、俺たちを立ち退かせることよりも、That's the end of chapter two. The chapters aren't usually this short. I think it's just cause the, um, because it's just sort of setting up everything, getting you used to your, getting used to this whole new arena and environment. And setting up all the characters that are gonna be a play in this little story of ours.沖縄米軍基地拡大法案の一貫して反対 feel like the news is more on the other guy as the other guy's side, not Tamiya, just because just because they got a very unflattering picture of him. <laughs> リゾート開発による内需拡大を支持する地域再開経営者に迎えられ、開発候補地の視察へと向かいました。しかし、これ以上沖縄に日本防衛のための犠牲を払わせるわけにはいきません。それを少しでも軽減するためにも内需拡大を見据えて、リゾートを開発することで、なんとか地域の振興に貢献していきたいと。
それ以上言うことはない空港到着後インタビューに応じた鈴木氏とは対照的に民谷氏は足早に車に乗り込み現地の視察へと向かいました突然の両大臣の沖縄訪問に野党からは鈴木氏の沖縄リゾート開発に民谷氏が便乗する形で強引に米軍基地拡大法案を進めようとしているのではないかと疑問の声が上がっています You know, if I played this game before our,、uh, I went to Japan, when they would talk about the national diet, I don't know, I, I, wouldn't, think that, I, I wouldn't think that that meant the government building. I would have been like, what the hell does, a, what does, the hell does this diet have to do with it? Jiki, so say, go to the Yobigoi no Takai, Suzuki, Tamiya, Ryoshi no Okinawa de no Kodo ni. 今後も注目が集まります続いてのニュースです今のニュースここの立ち抜きの話なのかな<笑> I'm just now picturing like they like we're able to、uh, start to like just withstand the, the eviction notice And then just like they build us a huge American military base, but like around, the, around it is just this tiny orphanage. <laughs> like those houses of people who refuse to move, and so they actually found a way to construct around them. <laughs> Which I guess is technically what they kind of what they were going to do with the, with the empty lot during, in、uh, Yakuza Zero. It's just that. They just, it's just that they just found out that the owner might still be alive. Or that somebody actually would own that little tiny patch of land. Nothing like real estate to get your games going, eh? <laughs> okay, I believe you.、Oh. What's up? Well, it's probably nothing, but Shiro's been kind of down since he got home from school. I wonder why. Did you ask him what was wrong? Yeah, but it didn't seem like he wanted to talk to me.、Hmm. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah,、uh, as I stated before, the, the first couple missions in this game are going to be kind of just based around just helping the kids with their problems. Which, sadly, is probably the only time we're really going to see these kids. Like, we don't really even. See them in the later in, in the in the later games. In fact,、uh, Yakuza 4,、uh, my,、uh, spoilers, only takes place in、uh, only takes place in、uh, Kamurocho, so we actually don't even get to we, we don't actually get to go back to Okinawa for a while. What's in the box? Ah. So, I just got something called Rainbow Alloy. Now, while that does sound good, it's not exactly. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> just jumped up and just leaped and smacked him in the face. Um. But yeah, so. The, the,、uh, the, those will come in, uh, in, um, and, uh, and later on in the game, and you'll see exactly what I use those for. They decided, like a lot of other games、uh, during this time, there's a crafting system. So, but unlike other games, I cannot craft on my own. I have to be, I have to go to some guy who knows how to craft. And also, FYI, I never use the crafting system unless, <laughs> unless it's used for just like、uh, getting defensive things. Like, a lot of times, I will not use that. Oh. Let's see.、Uh... Oh, yeah, that one's good.
Ah, maybe I should have just taken a look inside the orphanage. <sighs> you don't look fine. Everyone else is having fun outside, but you're sitting in here all by yourself. Are you sure you're okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> Something happened at school? <laughs> that usually is where most problems seem to occur. Uh, okay. Well, he's next to a trash can. Does his stomach hurt, maybe? He's, okay. Nope. Alright, then it's... It's love! It's always love! <laughs> well, you're at that age where boys start to... That's not it! Just leave me alone, okay? Guess I was wrong. Okay. Well... You know, since this game was made by Sega, I, I thought it would have been hilarious if, uh, if you saw, like, a little Sonic plushie. Put him in a headlock. That'll get him talking. Jesus. Uh, no, violence doesn't usually solve ant problems like this. Oh, maybe these two on the beach know. Always getting bullied. Ooh, that's a uh, that's pretty concerning. The bullying, on yeah, that's the downside about. Bullying like this. I, I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> VQ. Oh. From Morning Glory. And the orphanage, right? You must be the guardian for all those poor kids. And who are you exactly? Oh, just one of the teachers here at the school. This guy, for some reason, makes me think of uh, Winston Payne from Phoenix Wright. I don't know why. <laughs> that would be me. What seems to be the problem? Well, I believe he's been getting bullied. Bullied? What evidence do you have of that? Hmm? Is this some kind of joke? Trust me, I'm not the joking type. Shido's holed up in his room right now, not talking to anyone. Apparently there have been bruises on his body, too. I assure you, there's no chance such awful behavior would take place at our school. What about the other orphans? Who knows what those kids of yours get up to without parents to keep them- Oh god, what the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Honestly, I'm sick and tired of all these nervous parents whining to me about their children. Raising them is your responsibility, not mine. Though I suppose your case may, may be a lost cause. Goodbye, Kiryu-san. Well, definitely coming from his <laughs> from this from the school. <laughs> Don't worry, Taichi. I'm gonna make sure something like this never happens again. But it's okay. I'll get Shiro to talk. Something tells me it's probably the teacher's kid who is bullying Shido. It's funny though, because like those plushies that you see there, you can actually see a uh, 
like, oh, I guess maybe, maybe not this game, but yeah, they did have, I, I think they do have, like, IEIEs, like, from Super Monkey Ball later on in this. But yeah, it's funny that they never put a Sonic plushie in here, I guess, even though he is visible sometimes in, like, some of the arcades. Come on, just tell me what's going on. Is someone bullying you? Alright. I'll go have a talk with your school. You can't! Why not? I already spoke to your teacher, but he wasn't a whole lot of help. Shido? Uh, okay. Nope, okay. <laughs> Why doesn't Shido want me going to the school? Yep, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between the <laughs> playing messenger man with these with, with the kids. Don't tell anyone about this. But do you think you can find out who's been bullying Shido for me? I already know. That's what I was trying to tell you before. Who is it? Mm. Some kid y named Yoshinori, but... But what? It's kinda complicated. Yoshinori is the son of Shido's teacher, Hashimoto. What? Are you sure? Hashimoto will be in big trouble if he admitted his own son was a bully, so I don't know if he'll fess up. Well, now I really need to get involved. I better check with Shido again to make sure. Uncle Kaz? Yeah. <laughs> Shiro, Taichi told me about what's going on. Has the teacher's son really been bullying you? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Please, Shiro. I need you to talk to me. But Yoshinori, he said... He said his dad plays golf with Akas... Asa... Uh, bleh. <laughs> Akasaka. Akasaka-sensei from the city council. That he get them to shut down morning gl Oh, God! I guess the apple doesn't far f fall far from the tree. It's okay, Shido. Don't cry. I'm not crying! I'm just... frustrated. Yoshinori only picks on kids when he knows they're not gonna fight back. It's not right. Don't worry. Morning Glory's not going anywhere. Huh? I promise. So the next time he tries to mess with you, I want you to stand up for yourself. You hear me? The next day. Actually, wait, where am I going? <laughs> where am I? Ah. Who would go after a sweet little kid like Shiro-kun? I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Well, it's a kid named Yoshinori, but his dad's the real problem. Apparently, he's pretty tight with Akasuka-sensei. Meaning, if I don't go, uh, go about this the right way, I'll get the city council to come su shut down my orphanage. Really? That doesn't seem like the Akasuka I know. Wait, you know him? Of course! He's famous around these parts. Well, as famous as a city councilman can be, anyway, he's definitely the honest type, not the kind of guy to use his position to settle grudges. Which we definitely have way too much of that in politics these days, it seems. Why don't you try out the golf course? Why the golf course? That's where he spends most of his free time. They say he won't be caught... He wouldn't be caught dead without his trusty set of clubs. <laughs> Such a politician thing. Going golfing all the time. <laughs> anyway, the monorail is the best way to get. Okay, so... Yeah, so now they're pretty... So this is them pretty much telling us about the newest, like, bigger minigame that they have in, the, in this. And, um... This, I think... Oh wait, no, never mind. There, there, there's one in number four, but um, yeah, this is like one of the few times where they 
where they actually have like a full-on golf course. In the la in later games, including the prequel games, like you notice that there's a uh, the, the, like you'll notice that you pretty much just have like a putting range, or, n well, not a putting range. What, what do they call that? Uh, is it a driving range? Well, whatever they call it, that's the uh, th that's pretty much when you just like uh, can practice your golf swing. I think it's called a driving range. I want to say, but that doesn't sound right. Um, but yeah, so this is like one of the. So I think this game and number four are the only ones who actually have a full on golf course that you can do. Hello. What are the odds that this is the guy who. <laughs> that this is the guy that I thought that, that I need to talk to? In that case, why don't you join me for a couple of holes? Really? I actually was actually meant to meet a friend here, but it seems you won't be showing up. I suppose he had some last-minute business to attend to. I'm not too fond of playing by myself, though, so if you wouldn't mind joining me, I'd be glad to have you along. And who are you exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Where are my manners? My name's Akaska. You mean from the city council? <laughs> ah, I take it you've heard of me. That's a first. Nobody can usually name that. Anyways, may I ask your name? <laughs> it's Kiryu. Well then, Kiryu-san, shall we play? Yes, let's do it. Talk about it. <laughs> so, now we get to actually find out how to play golf. Luckily, we do not have to beat this guy. There is a, um... There is a uh, golfing game later on. Like, like there is actually like a there 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 is a uh, like a, a golf uh, side quest later on where you have to play against a dude who is insanely good. Like this guy, pretty much. Like you have to make sure that you get at least birdies on every single hole. It is. Really hard, <laughs> and um, luckily it's one of those it's one of those mini games that um, it's one of those side quests where uh, so something that they've actually so let me actually back up for this because in this game they actually do have uh, side quests that you can fail. Luckily, in order to access the uh, Oh, right, that's how I move. Luckily, you don't need to actually complete every single uh, course in order to, um, uh, like, you, you don't have to actually complete every single uh, side quest perfectly in order to unlock the Amon fight. But, um, yeah, it, it is possible to fail some of these side quests. Hmm. Oh, oops. Oh, that is way there. <laughs> Let's take a mulligan. I am not remembering how to do this. Oh. God. Wait, is it? There we go. Ah. Well, I'm in the rough. Nah. That's about as good as I'm probably going to get right now. This guy is very nice giving me so many mulligans. Okay, that's much better. No. Ah. Okay, now this is where I definitely have issues with this because I am not good with putting. Uh, let's try there. Ah. Too soft. Try that again. Hmm. Much better. Actually, 
Let me try, let me see if I can actually get that in. <coughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much for having all of those mulligans. Man, this actually, th playing this actually makes me rethink of that game, uh, Hot Shots Golf. We played a couple of them back on my old, like, my super old Let's Play channel that I was a part of. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, that game was surprisingly pretty fun. Like, you know, all things considered, because I was not expecting to get that into a golf game, but, man, I... <laughs> Everyone, like all, like all three of, like all three of the guys that I played with, we were all like, "God, why is this so addicting? <laughs> this is just golf." I think it was also fun because we got to, because we made up funny backstories for some of the characters, <laughs> like the lawyer who, for whatever reason, keeps calling his wife who wants a divorce because <laughs> he won't stop playing golf. <laughs> too far. Yeah, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Speaking of the orphanage, Kitty son, how many kids do you have there? Nine. All in elementary school. And you take care of them all by yourself? Do you have any helpers? No, but the oldest girl, Haruka, takes on a lot of what of that responsibility. She'll be starting sixth grade next month. And the chores are divided up between the kids. Everyone has to help out. How wonderful! Too many kids these days sit around watching TV while the parents do all the work. Now, shall we take to the next hole? As a professional, Kiryu-san, what are the, your thoughts on the youth of today? <laughs> Just, like, in general? Like, youth... <laughs> I mean, they exist? <laughs> I'd say the problem is that we've been... is that we spoon-feed everything to kids nowadays. There's no room for imagination anymore. Back in my day, we'd come up with games we'd all play together when we get bored. Then we get into fight about those rules. <laughs> Since we had lots of kids different ages, we all had to make rules that were fair to everyone. Aw, oh, man, who plays fair games? Most of the times, whenever you create a game, you always make it so that way it's fair in your fa <laughs> It's unfair in your favor. <laughs> <coughs> it's all about the video games and the internet. <laughs> True, we didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good. But in a way, I feel sorry for them. Bullying seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit, it's always been present, but incidents appear to be even more malicious recently. That is true. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't get reported as much back in the day. Although, what the hell am I talking about? I'm from the 90s. <laughs> back in my day... Overshot it, but nah. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I'm going to try doing this one more time. <laughs> ah, overshot it, but. Skip the hole, damn. Hmm. Eh, nah. I'm not gonna get any better than that. Oh, 
wait, yeah, he got a bogey. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, there's a, um... Although, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if this is a, uh... If this is, like, the only... If there's only, like, three holes in the... Well, no! No, I think there's... I think there's nine. There's not a full 18 course, but I think there are nine holes. <laughs> the guy's like, I lost! Well, but to be fair, that guy did give me, like, a mulligan after every single hit. That's, like, quite... admirable. <laughs> If only, if only I could do that in the actual, <laughs> in the actual, like, minigame where you have to, in the actual, like, side mission where you have to score, a, like, a perfect, a perfect shots each time. God, that get, that one is hard. Because, yeah, that guy is really good, and he gets, yeah, he gets, like, birdie, like, he, I think, actually, yeah, one of the holes he does, he will automatically get a birdie no matter what. Like, he's just that good. Ooh. Farewell now. See you later. Ah, and before I forget, I signed you up on as my permanent guest list, so you'll be free to visit the club whenever you please. Perhaps we'll even play again sometime. I hope so. In fact, actually, it's because of the golf. I think it's like also because of the golf minigame and the fishing that uh, make um, that make uh, the uh, this yakuza to be the hardest one to complete. A uh, hundred percent, because you have to you have to get like really good scores on all of them and catch a tuna, which is one of the hardest fish to catch in this entire game. But in any case, uh, thank you so much for joining me. We are at time now, and yes, I will be back on Thursday with uh, probably Resident Evil, if not uh, this. In any case, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Take care.